I found this old money box. It's um, it's an old racist thing from America. It's called the Nignog money box on Facebook. So it was fifteen pounds. So I bought that, and I'm going to restore it. The first thing that I needed to do was obviously to remove some of the surface rust because it was so thick. It was actually in a bucket of water for many, many years in somebody's garden. And then they took it out, put it on Facebook because obviously people love old rusty things to restore. I mean, I look for things that are the more rusty, the better, to be honest. And to be fair, underneath it went in the worst shape. I think the paint on it was enamel. I needed to take the screw out the back of it, so I just give it a clean because uh, the inside was also really rusty and there was no way to get to it. I went back to the parts washer and give the inside uh, another clean. A lot of the rust was actually on the surface. It, it wasn't eaten into the, into the metal tool bad and a lot of it I could remove. So I'm just going to give it a wipe off and a dry off before I put it into the sandblaster and then hopefully we can get it into some sort of shape ready for some paint. The bulb in my sandblaster's gone and obviously like I said the England um, England's on lockdown so all the shops are closed so I can't get a new one so I've just had to use a torch so it's not the uh, usual quality of video that it is but you get the idea of, uh, of what I'm doing here. Everything's come out quite clean and nice from uh, obviously from the condition it was. There's a few casting marks in the side where the two pieces meet so I just decided to get my Dremel out and give them a give them a polish up and a tidy up and just take any of the bigger bigger pieces that was there. There was a few areas where there was quite quite a lot of uh, marks. I just used my file just to square the edges off just to um, just to blend it in so when you paint it you don't end up with some some uh, bad lines in the in the surface. This is the base of the money box. There was quite a few casting lines on the inside, so I just wanted to sand those out with a with a file. The only primer that I had was this cheap pound shop um, red primer. If you're from the UK and know about the pound shop, everything's basically a pound, which is I don't know one and a half dollars or something. It's, it, everything's rubbish, really. So it's the only primer that I could get my hands on um, that I had a full tin of. So, so I use this and hope for the best. Cross my fingers. Just use my um, Hello Kitty hair dryer just to dry everything off in between coats. And it does make a massive difference to be honest if you can just get a bit of air moving over it. And then just another quick coat on the front. I give it a quick blow off with the air dryer just in between coats. Primer dries a lot faster than uh, like a glossy finish or even a matte finish. Um, I'm not actually sure why primer dries quicker, but it, it just does. Um, it's quite warm in the UK to be honest, so everything's drying a bit faster. When you're doing your, uh, restoration videos in winter, you've got to, the paint just literally doesn't dry. You've got to put it in the powder coat oven or get some warm air blowing over it. What I like to do to dry off any paint and stuff like that, I like to put it in the powder coat oven on its lowest temperature, which is about 20 degrees, 20, 30 degrees, so it just stays warm overnight. I leave it overnight and then and here we are. Um, the next morning I can work on it and start taping everything up ready for some, uh, for some more colour.
on the front of the man's jacket there's um, like some small buttons and what looks like a bow tie so I've just masked it up and I'm just going to cut round it um, and just do it as the best I can. I ain't got the, even got the proper masking tape, the like a fine lining tape and then just cover it all up in um, masking tape and then give it some uh, give it some red paint which is his which is his coat. One thing to remember if you're spraying light colours, reds, yellows or anything like that they don't go well over a black base coat so I just thought I'd give it a quick thin coat of white first and then, then I'd go over the top of it with the final colour which is going to be a red. Because we're on lockdown and we're not allowed out of the house usually I just leave them to dry on the side for an hour or so but I've got literally nothing to do so I just sat in the garage um, just killing time really. We're allowed to go to work and everything but apart from that you know on a night on a weekend nobody's allowed out so we're just just killing time everybody in the UK just give it a sand down with a bit of soapy water and a bit of wet and dry sandpaper just to take off a few of the the rough marks it's pretty it's pretty flat anyway and obviously the surface is is rough because it's um, cast iron but I just thought I'd sand it just to make it a little bit more a bit more glossy when it's finished so this is the this is the man's arm the paint as you can see the red paint I'm using is absolutely rubbish I've actually um, you know, I've got no choice. It's the only tin of paint I've got, and it's not even full, so I'm just just doing the best I can with what I've got. Like I say, a couple of weeks from now we should be we should be out and about, and uh, I'll be able to get some more paint from the local paint supply paint supply guy. On this little money box there's not actually a great deal of work to do on it in terms of fixing or repairing there's nothing like that it's mainly just painting um, just tidying up removing the rust it's uh, just trying to make it look nice really and that's why I pitched this this project to do now is because obviously I'm really limited to um, what I can get my hands on I've searched the full house and I have not got a paintbrush anywhere so I'm going to have to paint this full thing believe it or not with a zip tie or a tie wrap if you're in England we call them tie wraps so every bit of detail has got to be done with a little bit of plastic but I have got plenty of time on my hands so I left the paint to dry in the powder coat oven overnight and to be honest the tape has not gone very well on the edges I don't know I think it's because I only have thick tape um, I have no edging tape so I'm going to have to use a piece of plastic just to just to sharpen the lines up just around the neck and stuff. Um, what can happen if you put um, tape and mask things up when it's really warm is the glue actually um, it stretches a little bit in the masking tape so I'm just going to tidy it all up and it should it should be a lot better because it looks a right mess now but we're all learning and that's the main thing. So this is a nightmare bit trying to paint a big massive um, big massive area with just a, a piece of plastic. It, it just took hours and hours and hours. But like I said, I just put my earphones in, put the radio on and just sat there and uh, painted it. It took me a few hours. This is this is speeded up quite a lot. But um, it's really difficult as well to get a sharp line with a piece of plastic. The restorations I do, well, most of the stuff is, is stuff for myself so I don't mind, it gives me something to do on a night, it's better than uh, playing on computers or whatever people do nowadays, I just enjoy doing something like this, at least you've got some at the end of it, so you don't mind wasting time if you're not allowed out anywhere. So I've put them in the powder coat oven, I'm going to leave them in there overnight, I put a coat, a clear coat over them, and then uh, I'm just going to give them 24 hours to dry, and then tomorrow we'll put it all back together, but it came out quite nice. So I left them in the powder coat oven for about about 24 hours, maybe just a little bit more. So I'm just going to reassemble it and uh, hopefully the, the outcome you like it. I mean, it certainly looks a little bit better anyway, that is for sure. 
This is the metal base. I've actually got a new rubber piece to block the hole. Put the screw back in. And there you go, there it is before. Pretty rusty. And there it is after. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, look after each other. Make sure you stay inside if you've got to, because you don't want to be spreading that coronavirus. And uh, don't stockpile toilet roll because you don't need it. Stay safe, everybody. And if you've got a paintbrush, a little one, don't forget to send it my way. See you later, everyone. Try